Und wir sind durch Schulop anlässen. I'm telling everybody here by the moon to let you know about me. I do have my life with Daniel's grave, and I do. That's really important to me. See, look, I was going to gym every week, every day. I was in the gym for him. And that's really a help. The weight lifting. That's really happened to me. That my life is. And that was Danos. Danos families are worried about me. Not to go up the grave. See, look, I had to tell you that. No, it's not going to be forced me to go up that thing. I know you are worried about me going up in that grave. I know that. But no, listen to me. Just shut up. Let me tell you. This is my story about Dano. He has his story. Now I've got my story. What he did to me to waste lifting. He wants his company like Battle and Stable. He had that for me. Dano's families. See, I love them with the to me. They keep his Battle and Stable in the gym for every time. Because I do. I had my time with him. He was really close to me. Doing that. Doing that means I give him the frame. That's when I give him the frame about that to air. And that's really crazy about that because people doesn't care. And the fans. See my fans do. My fans love me and turn out together. But right here is about the rights. Now let me tell you a question about Daniel's family, so I, I'm talking about his brothers. And that's the question about Daniel's brothers. I was his legend. Well I was. And it's you but me. I wasn't in the gym for 40 years when I haven't. See, then I missed that video about me to race lifting. That was his phone. He made it off me. See, look, then I was worried about me being in tax. He knows. He knows for a long time. See, I am okay for it, and I am okay. See, look. That woman's in jail, I know, I know she is. See, my fans are waiting for her to take her. It's true. That's what it is about. It's no more anymore. So the truth is about me. I don't give up my life anymore. I'm back where I am. Do you hear me? I'm back where I am. My chemist, my axis, my Bannerman gym, the hairdressers, that's mine. My families, my fans, that's my life in the mass. So my fans is go to mass every Sunday. That's that mine. With the priest, Father Declan. My wife is all the boy. His name. True. Very true. I was the old boy. For Declan. Father Declan is my priest. See. See, I love him there. He loves me to an old boy. See, I did that for Stephen Gailey. With his families. You see what I mean? I do this for the gays. And that's really important to me. And that was my job. See, in this tour I was doing all the way. 
I was wearing that white thing on me. And now what's the old boy? Then the old boy means. There we go. I did that for boys on a Westlife. This was I want to do for Nicky Bond's father. I should be doing it for him. I should be doing the old boy and my liquors. I should be doing for him. I'm sure. Uh. So now let me tell you this. It's not my time for stopping me about me Nicholas. I'm talking about Nicky Bond's dad. Nicky Bond's dad is mine. My prophecy. My heart. My life is sinning. He loves me sinning. Because then he sings to Uncle Book. And then, what's he does? He sings to Uncle Book. He chose to beat me. I broke my arm. And I did broke my arm. When I broke my arm, I was singing my Westlife songs. And I did for me. So I did that for Nicky Bond's families. With my life to me now. This is not about you, Frank. You're not. You're not breaking no legends anymore. You're finished. St. Nicky Bond, your dad is my hero. See, look, I had to tell you it's true. So, Nicky Bond, I had to tell your mum. I had to tell your wife. I have to. Your life is way better than stable. I never lost your dad, never. I never lost your dad, Nicky. And that's really hurt me. And it is a bit hurt me. I never lost that man, never. I never lost him. You know, Nicky Bourne, this is between me and you. We are together. So that way to get your photograph with me. You never do. Just try it. Nicky Bond is not one anymore, he's not one. He's not allowed to be escaping anymore. Which, because now he's not, he's not allowed to be escaping. He's not time for warning, Nicky. You did that to me for the last time. With my brother Basie in the van. <clears throat> Nicky, I want to have you. So you have to have me. This is a bit your dad, Nicky. He loves me hard about singing your songs. And it's really important to me to have you. you know, Nicky, I don't care if these people like me or not. Especially with Frank. He's not your boss anymore. He never likes about broken arms about 10 years. Keep you stable, a legend, but I'm unstable. And that is it to my Westlake band. It's mine. Do you hear me? There's no backups anymore. No backups. This is between me and Nicky Bourne. Nicky Bourne has to hug me. It's about a couple of hours to love me. And it's true about Nicky Bourne. He has to learn to love me. But he doesn't, doesn't. Sometimes he does love me. He was looking for me in the concert the last time. So now, let me tell you this. Now, I was a sinner. And I was for Nicky Bourne's family. So I wanted to do it for them. Nicky Bourne's twins. Nicky Bourne's wife. I like to do it for my songs. It's about Nicky Bourne and Steve, Bannon and Steve. I don't care with no skewities. You're not back to nobody. This is Nicky Bourne special for me to have me. Nicky Bourne is my legend to me as well. Because I am his legend on the legend together. 
This is about West Rife to Battle and Stable. Did you get that? You're not stopping no West Rife than mine. All you do is step off, leave me alone with my West Rife. Step off. This is my West Rife. Mine.